Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. So, I am going through some 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 mind fogs right now. I was thinking I really want to put this gorgeous branch that I found in Ape in my previous videos. I want to put it in the kitchen and make shelving here. So I want to make shelving similar to this. Um to have more space to put things in my kitchen. That's what I really wanted to do. So this has been sitting in my house ever since I got it. It has been in my house drying. And I sanded it by hand and I put the oil that I use for all of my projects. So it's ready to be used for my shelving. So I got it in the van to see how I want to use it. But I think I am going to go to the store and pick out some beautiful uh, shelves. So. I'm going to do that, so I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Hey, so I just got back from the store and I got this beautiful piece of wood. And now what I have to do is get the branch, cut it in half so I can place it on the countertop. So then I can visualize how I want it to look, how I want it to be, and then I will start creating it. So I cut the branch. This is what I'm working with. My first idea was to put it like this, something like this, and then put shelving here and here, which I really like, but it puts this tree in the middle of the, of the countertop and I was thinking maybe I don't want that, maybe I want it to float. So I was looking like this but the thing is I cannot make anything onto the ceiling because the ceiling still has to come out to to work on the wiring and everything but I really kind of like it like this maybe and then I would put a shelf up here and maybe a shelf here or something floating onto this I'm not sure but I, I kind of like it like this could also be like this and then shelving on here oh <laughs> what I'm really thinking about is I want the shelving to look cute to look pretty but I also want the shelving to have a purpose the things that I will put here will be things that will be aesthetically pleasing and the shelving that I'm going to make is also going to have some sort of barrier so that stuff doesn't come flying off maybe copper piping <laughs> so this is also a possibility I really kind of like the feel it gives and it's also very interesting that I'm looking at this option now because it would mean that the puck lights wouldn't be sitting here but would be sitting more here so I'm kind of happy that I haven't installed those yet so I have some room it's really nice to have it like this and then maybe put copper piping in front and then just make it make it sit on this I want to do is place something over here. I think this is also really cute. I don't want to put it in front of my hole because I need to be able to access this hole, but this is actually really nice.
because I have another one. I wanted to be creative, but I also wanted to be functional. For instance, this one, I really, really love it, and I think the placement is great, and that it can be a coat hanger and everything, and the little shelving works perfect, but not while driving. And I don't want to create anything here that I can only use while standing still, because that would mean it would not get any usage. I think I know what I want. Oh, decisions, decision. Don't cut a piece like this so that this is the first one to be flush and then I can decide where I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to make this look better first. So this looks really good for the shelf to sit on. I did it by eye because <laughs> I needed one hand more than I have. Oh, I really love that part, and I just cut it off. So, this is going to be where the shelf's going to sit. Oh, I love it oh so much! I love it oh so much. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, okay, so this looks really 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 cool and i absolutely love it oh, i love this yes okay so how the hell am i going to attach this now i don't know there are too many angles to work with okay i kind of need a hand Going to get something.
want to be looking head on onto the screws so I'm screwing from this angle making sure they're in deep so that I can flush it uh, fill it up and then stain any ones to you gorgeous okay I really like this and I want to make a shelving here as well I have a piece left really cute. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's not the good angle. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, still not there. <laughs> but we're getting it. Overall, it's looking really nice. It's not finished yet. There's still some stuff to do, but it's sturdy. And I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. It looks really cute. And I'm thinking of maybe making a little shelf here too. But maybe not. Or maybe lower. I'm going to think about that. Because I don't have any wood left. So if I would want to do that, I would have to go get some more wood for that. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited to, you know, finish it because I just want to make everything even more pretty. I'm just not sure what I'm going to be putting on there. <laughs> I have no idea. But for now, I'm happy with this result and I'm going to the store and I'll get back to you guys. While I was at the store, I finally remembered to ask what the drill bit is called that I called a thingamajiggy in my previous videos and it is called a sovereign drill and this is what they look like. Hello! So it is the next day and I'm going into the van and what happened was, oh lighting, so what happened was that <laughs> last time I was filming and the camera died, the battery died, which can happen. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish showing what I did here so I'm going to show you now. So this is the way I cut this branch to fit here. This was hilarious. I had to cut, I had to cut this multiple times to make it fit. I really like it. It's really pretty. I absolutely love it. And here's the other one. And I just went back to the store and they had this leftover piece which is the same as this one and I got this for two euros so I'm super happy about it and I'm going to put it behind here and I'm going to look if I'm going to put it the same height as that one or a different height I think different height maybe two little shelving which is going to be for a soap dispenser or maybe my uh, dishwashing soap stuff like that that I'm going to put here maybe my toothbrush I have to look about that I have to look how I'm going to do that but stuff like that is what I want to use this for so I'm going to cut it to size, put it in there, and then I'm going to round out these edges because I've decided I do not want to bump my head. Plus, I also rounded this. So I think it will be a nice to keep everything in the same shape. And I'm also going to make this rounded because this is something that I'm probably going to bump my head onto and it's not going to be comfortable. So I'm going to sh do this shape like this. And then I'm going to oil it. And then... 
I have to think of what I'm going to put on it. But for now it's looking like this and I'm absolutely in love with it. So, this is what I came up with. I cut the cut the edges rounded already because this one has not been attached and this is the way it sits naturally when it comes into contact with the wood so I'm going to attach it like this so I'm going to drill holes from this side in this wall and then I can screw it from the back which will fit very nicely and I screw it like this I think so I would have to look at all the screwing holes and then this is a really nice little shelving for I'm not sure what for but it's really cute I'm now taping this because I want to put adhesive in there. I had not finished this yet. and But I have to wait for these to dry. So I can't sand it like this. And I need to wait for that anyway. So I'm going to put adhesive around here to seal these together. So water won't get behind there. So because I always like to make a mess when <laughs> i don't like to but for some reason i always make a mess when i do um this i now taped it so that it won't go anywhere past here so i'm going to put the adhesive in here and then strike it with my finger and then take all of this off and it should be a very very nice what it's looking like and now I'm going to take off the tape and it should be really nice I just realized I said adhesive but it's called sealant <laughs> I didn't I don't know so I took the tape off and then I just got my finger moist and just one last time I went past it so now it's looking good so this has been sealed now I have to wait this is, this is already dry, but now I have to wait for these two to dry. This one and, and wait, this this one and that one have yet to dry. And then when they're dry, I can sand them down. When this is dry, of course, too. Otherwise, it will get stuck on there. But I will sand it down and then I can start oiling the shelving. So while we're waiting for everything to dry, we are going on to this project, which is my amazing table. And because my heater hasn't been installed and it's wood and I have not treated the bottom, moisture and everything got in here and now it won't move anywhere. It won't go in, it won't come out. So I have to take it out, put it inside my house for a couple of days to let it dry again, oil it again and again and again real thorough and then see what the issue is. I think maybe it's here. And then I will just open this up and then it should be fine. But for now it's not moving anywhere. So I have to dis, uh, dis this member, what's it called? I have to take everything apart to get it out. So yeah, that's the project I'm gonna be working on.
So this is what it's looking like with the first coat of oil on it. And I love it so much. It's so nice with the ceiling and with the countertop. Oh, it gets me so excited. So now I'm going to use cloth to get all the excess oil off and then I will let it stay for a night and then tomorrow I can send these pits because then this sealant will be dry and then I will oil it again where needed and I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. to end the video here I still have to send this oh I just touched it I still have to send this when it's dry and then I probably have to oil it once or twice more because I really want it to be really well protected so that it won't stain or anything and um, I'm super happy with what it's looking now was looking I'm super happy with what super happy with how it's looking I absolutely love it I'm going to think about what I'm going to put up here and then I'm going to make that happen and that will be in the future video. So for people watching this and thinking, you cannot put anything on here while driving, that's correct. And that's because I'm not finished. So you have to see in the future video what I'm going to do about that. And for now, I'm super happy. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to try and fix my table and I will get back to you about that too in the future video. So thank you guys for watching. And have an awesome day and don't forget to say yes to new Avengers. Mm -hmm.